So being awake all night with a baby and then having to get up early with two toddlers and stay awake all day with no naps is a different kind of tired. If you know, you know. And that is honestly H-E double hockey sick. I'm gonna be sharing just like a list of some of the stuff that I have been absolutely loving for my newborn baby and stuff that I'm actually using. So I'm not gonna share anything with y'all that I don't really use that much. It is time for a change. And that's okay, sometimes we feel like that as moms. These diapers are so cute. These are the loves and some say the snuggle is real and then some say crib hair don't care and it's so funny because he doesn't have any hair. And he scratches himself so I have to keep either hats on him or mittens on him. Y'all look at his nails. His nails are trimmed. Oh, we're fighting over the tablets. Bella, can you please give Nolan his tablet back because that one's his. Well, I get questions all the time about this little footy pajama whenever he wears it in my videos. And I think it is so cute. So a lot of people are really, really against wearing like character clothing or like dinosaur prints and so on and so forth. But these are so cute. Like as you can see the color, it's like brick red and just like really cute colors. Um, the greens, I just love these. But these are from Walmart. And I keep his nail clippers. I need to put his laundry away. <laughs> All of his laundry is right here where I washed it yesterday. I've got to fold it up and put it in his dresser. This is where his bibs go. Um, but anyways, in here, so I have his nail clippers and stuff in here, but I've been giving him these, they're the Mommy's Bliss Organic Drops Baby Vitamin D, and I just drop one tiny little drop in his mouth every day. Before we get too far into today's video, I'm going to let y'all know it is in collaboration with my friend Allison. She's another YouTube mama here, and she's also going to be sharing her newborn favorites, her newborn must-haves. So definitely make sure you guys head over and check out her video after you watch mine today. I'm going to go ahead and let her introduce herself now. My name is Allie. I'm a stay-at-home mom to two kids, a little girl named Everly and a little boy named Truett, and I'm married to my childhood sweetheart. I do a lot of day-in-the-life vlogs, decor inspiration, baby name videos, pregnancy and postpartum videos, and so much more. Life is not always easy, and on my channel I really try to show the ups and the downs. I want my channel to be a place where you can come and not feel judged. Being a mother is hard and us women really need to stick together and build each other up. So after this video, I would love for you to come by and maybe introduce yourself. I would love to get to know you. Come on y'all, let's go have some breakfast. I can't. These are the vitamins that the kids have been taking. They were taking the little critters, but these are like three whole dollars cheaper just because they're Equate brand, but they're literally like the same exact thing. Just cheaper. I'm about to pour them some milk. I think I'm going to go ahead and just fix myself some French Toast Crunch. Just, just have a quick breakfast and go ahead and have that taken care of. And I'm also going to be having this Naked Pina Colada. I started out drinking the Strawberry Banana Naked Drinks, and they're okay. But after I tried this one, I'm not ever going back to the Strawberry Banana. The Pina Colada one is by far my absolute favorite, and it's so fulfilling. It has pineapple, apple, banana, coconut milk, an orange, a hint of lemon, and it also has vitamin C. These are are so good y'all. They were in high school when they met and things got kind of awkward. 
with sparks in the air. He would stare at her in class, and she would try to act cool. But it was obvious, like ooh, they would be together. Ooh, and one day she said, "Write me a love song." Cause I know you'll make it beautiful And maybe I'll call you my sweetheart Hey, wow Hey Right in your A, your B, and your C. And you, people who help us, you have to follow the lines to guide the people to their vehicles. So who is this? The fighter. Fire. 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 goes to the fire truck. Who's this? Doctor. The doctor goes to the ambulance. The ambulance comes and gets you at your house and takes you to the hospital when you get hurt. Oh. Where does the teacher go? Where does the teacher go? To school? Yeah, good job. Okay, draw your lines. You draw your A. So I just got Jackson laid down for his first nap of the day and while he's doing that, I went ahead and got ready. I got myself pulled together. I'm just gonna be wearing this outfit. I didn't sleep in this outfit. I got it this morning and put it on. It's from Amazon. It's so comfortable. I have this activity for Bella and Nolan. I have two drainers and then I also have some pipe cleaners and they're just gonna be like threading the pipe cleaners through the drainers and they're gonna be doing that as like a quiet time activity today while Jackson is taking a nap. So that's a really fun activity that you can do with your little ones. So Bella's wearing a unicorn jumpsuit. How cute is that? It's from the Dollar General. They were having a big sale at the Dollar General. And then Nolan is a dinosaur. But while they're sitting here doing this, I'm gonna go ahead and make myself some coffee because it is 
almost 12 o'clock noon and I still haven't had any coffee and I feel dead. So being awake all night with a baby and then having to get up early with two toddlers and stay awake all day with no naps is a different kind of tired. If you know, you know. <laughs> I am so tired. I haven't had a chance to make any coffee yet. So I'm going to go ahead, make myself some coffee, and then I'm going to get started on their lunch because it is almost noon now. We've all ate some cereal for breakfast. They've had a snack. Now it's our lunch time. So I'm going to make something quick in the air fryer. So my regulars probably have noticed the new can of formula in the background this morning. So Jackson was using the Infamil Infant. That's just like a basic formula. And my first baby never really spit up that bad, but my last three babies all have had really sensitive stomachs and they all spit up really bad and have like projectile vomits kind of spit up where they just like spit up constantly in between feedings. And I really thought I was going to get a little bit of a break with Jackson because he wasn't really spitting up until he was closer to two months old. And my other babies would start projectile vomiting a lot sooner than that. But unfortunately, Jackson has started spitting up so bad. He drenches himself, he drenches my clothes, but he's not in any pain, he's not crying or anything. So the doctors are not gonna do anything about it. So we have decided to switch him from Infamil Infant to Infamil Gentle Ease. And Nolan, um, my other son, my last baby before Jackson, he was actually on Alimentum, and that is like a formula that you can't get through WIC unless you have like a doctor referral. It's a very special, like it's like a specialty formula. So I really wanted to get Alimentum for Jackson because it helped Nolan. It didn't conquer it. It didn't take it away, but it did help. Like I can tell a difference, but he did still spit up pretty bad. So I wanted to go with the Alimentum just because that's what Nolan was on, but there's a lot of Similac formulas and the Alimentum that have been recalled. So I didn't really want to go that route with recalled formula. So we just decided to stick with the Gentle Ease. A lot of you guys recommended the Gentle Ease for his sensitive tummy. Now he doesn't really have like fussiness and crying and it says it's for easing gas, fussiness and crying. He doesn't really have fussiness and crying, but he does have gas and he does have a ton of spit up so that's why I was really wanting to go towards the alimentum but a change has to be made it is time for a change because this mama is so tired of getting spit up on we are switching it to gentle ease he's been on this for probably like 48 hours now I haven't really noticed a difference with the like lessening of spit up or anything but I'm hoping that it helps um the difference between the infamil infant and the infamil gentle ease is this just has like less lactose in it so I think that it will help him a little bit but if this just doesn't work after several weeks after a while then I'm just going to talk to his doctor about switching him to the Alimentum. Hopefully the recalls on that formula will be like over with by then. I don't know but this is what we're going to be sticking to for a while. I'm going to try it for several months because I don't want to switch his keep on switching his formula because I know that that can make it worse. That can make his tummy hurt more. So we're just going to be sticking with the Gentle Ease. So this is one of my favorite coffees that I absolutely love. It's the Vanilla International Delight. This one is already sweetened and it's already creamed. All I have to do is just pour it in a glass and drink it. So it's the perfect on-the-go mom coffee. Just pour it into a thermos or into a glass and go. So this is what we're going to be having for lunch today. It's the Simply Smart Organics Breaded Chicken Breast Tenders. This is the whole grain. It's 100% natural. So these are going to take like no time at all to cook because I'm just going to be making them in the air fryer. baby monitor before in a video but this is the Simshine Baby Pro and I have recently done a more detailed video on this baby monitor but it angles down into his crib and I'm about to go get him up he's just waking up from his nap he doesn't sleep in his room at night yet but he does take naps in his room and so this baby monitor has been extremely beneficial to me but it will alert me when the baby is sleeping soundly once he falls asleep and he's sleeping it'll alert me when the baby wakes up it'll tell me there's movement 
it'll tell me if the baby is crying and you can turn the sound on and off so I can turn the sound on and hear him and I can also push this button and talk to him so I can talk to him to it's like a two-way I can talk to him and I can hear him I can take pictures of him I can record videos of him so I love the sound and the quality of this baby monitor so I'm about to go get him up but really quickly I wanted to share with you guys this baby monitor one more time so whenever I go to my main screen it says Jackson he's three months old so you can put in like your child and you can have multiple cameras that's what the camera looks like I click enter and it takes me right into his bedroom it has to load and then I can click here to go on full screen mode it has a sleep report a lullaby here are my messages so it says crying detected because he's crying now so for the sleep report it tells me his total sleep his longest sleep how often he cried his activities and it just has all kind of information so you can keep track of how long your baby's sleeping and then you can turn on a lullaby you can choose what lullaby to play and it will play a lullaby tune in his room and also if he's crying in his room it automatically plays a lullaby tune so it can sense and detect crying and it will start playing a tune for him so I just went ahead and set off the lullaby and it kind of soothes him but we're gonna go ahead and go get him out of his room now So this is what the baby monitor looks like. It looks like a little dinosaur and they have different colors. They have pink and just all kind of different colors, but I liked the yellow one. I think it's so cute and it will also send you videos to your phone every time there's an activity, every time there's crying, anytime there is movement. If the baby is sleeping, it sends you a one minute long video directly to your phone. So I just absolutely love this baby monitor and I feel really safe with it for whenever he starts to sleep in here. So I will be sure to leave the SimShine Baby Pro Baby Monitor link down below in my description box for those that were asking about it. I have shared it before, but I wanted to share it again because I always get questions about it. So definitely check the link down below in my description box if you want to order one or check it out. Okay, so I've been getting a lot of requests to share kind of like newborn must-haves. So I'm going to be sharing just like a list of some of the stuff that I have been absolutely loving for my newborn baby and stuff that I'm actually using. So I'm not going to share anything with y'all that I don't really use that much. This is stuff that I use 100% all the time and I absolutely love it. And I'm going to link what I can down below in my description box in case you are having a baby or if you need a baby shower gift idea. So the very first thing I want to share with you guys is the muslin burp cloths and the washcloths. I'm going to show you the material first. It is super, super, super absorbent. And I love this for spit up because my babies are really spit uppy. So this is the burp cloth. You can see it's a good size. And I just drape it over my shoulder like this when I'm burping him. And then the washcloths are exactly like this. They're just smaller, like a washcloth size. And I use those for his bath. And then I have these burp cloths from Walmart. And these are not like favorites, but I'm going to share them with y'all because I do use these. So these are just like the flat burp cloths from Walmart and I don't really use these as like burp rags like I don't really put these over my shoulder because these are so much more absorbent but the ones from Walmart I like to like lay these like in his swing or under him when he's sleeping or like in his play gym and just lay them on it because these are more floppy and more prone to fall over his face and then these are just like flat and they don't really flop around as easy so I like to lay him on these to catch spit up or if his diaper leaks so that way I'm not having to wash the swing or his play gym a million times. The next thing that I have been absolutely loving is changing pad liners. So you can see his changing pads up here on the dresser. I don't ever, I've never had to change out his changing pad. I've washed it before he was born when I was pregnant and put it on there and I've never had to change it out because I use these pad liners. These are from Target and basically you just lay the pad liner on the changing pad and anytime it gets like poop on it or the diaper leaks or he spits up, I can just change out these liners. I bought them in a three pack so I can just change out the liner instead of having to take the whole cover off. The next thing that I absolutely love for my newborn baby is some sort of sleep sack. It does not have to be this exact one. It is is a sleep sack I just put him in it and zip him up and then his arms go in this part so it keeps his hands and his arms really warm and I just put his pajamas on and zip him up in this and the next newborn must-have that I highly highly recommend is 
drawer organizers so these came from walmart and i don't remember how many came in the pack but you can find them at walmart target amazon pretty much anywhere and it really helps to keep all of his tiny little things organized since all of his clothes are so small it has all of his tiny clothes organized but if you're interested in the way that i have his dresser organized i do have nursery organization videos i have a couple and i've kind of moved things around the older he gets and when he starts using more things or not using things anymore then i just kind of move things around as he grows so for a baby swing i I love the mama roos or the rocker roos. I had a mama roo for Nolan and I have a rocker roo for Jackson. So the only difference is the mama roo does more, like it can sway different ways and it does more. And the rocker roo, it only goes forward and backward and it is more compact. And the mama roo, you can adjust the swing to sit up or lay like down more. But the rocker roo, I don't think the seat moves. I haven't figured out how to move it anyways. I don't think the rocker roo swing moves up and down, but it's sitting up just enough. It's fine. And Jackson loves his swing. When I put him in his swing, he loves looking at the toy bar and he just has a good old time in it. He falls asleep in it. He takes good naps in it. So the rocker roo or the mama roo are both good. Another newborn must have is definitely just white socks y'all just white socks at my baby shower i got a bunch of baby socks and they had like basketballs on them and different prints and stuff and that is honestly he double hockey six when you get them out of the dryer and you have a bunch of tiny little teeny baby socks everywhere like a little explosion and they all have different prints on them you have to sit there and find all the little socks like a puzzle and match them all up so I do highly recommend just go with white socks. Another newborn must have that I absolutely love is what I'm using for Jackson's bassinet. When I lay him in his crib, like just for a nap, he will sleep for a short time. But as far as like all night sleeping longer, he does really, really good in the glider swing. And I get tons of questions about his glider swing. It inclines or it can lay down flatter. It has like little bunnies over it. So if he's awake, he can look at it. It has a sound machine built in. It does all kind of different sounds. It has volume levels. You can make the sound higher or lower. And every night I turn on, it sounds like rain. So I do love the sound machine on it. And it also swings. I always put it on number one and turn on the, the rain sound and he sleeps really, really well. And I also have it inclined a little bit because he does have reflux. The next thing that I can highly, highly recommend is the footie pajamas with the built-in hand mittens so that they don't scratch themselves. And not only are the built-in mittens convenient, but also the nightgowns that scrunch at the bottom because babies usually just pull their legs up at night. So I'll just put some socks and a diaper and a onesie on my baby and then I will flip these over their hands and then stretch this down over their feet and then swaddle them up and it makes overnight diaper changes so much easier when you just put them in a gown. A sound machine is a must. Like I said on his glider swing on his bassinet he has a sound machine and I play rain at night and he also has a sound machine in his room so when he takes naps in here it just does like a white noise sound and I also have a sound machine in my toddler's room so it does a really good job with like blocking out noise when he's taking a nap in here and my toddlers are running crazy through the house it just blocks out sound or if I need to vacuum or we're just being loud so he can get some good sleep. If you are formula feeding, I highly suggest a thermos. So whenever I am going out, I always make sure that I put warm water in a thermos. So that way if I'm out and the baby needs to eat and I need to pull over or sit in a parking lot and feed him, that I have warm water in a thermos and I don't have to worry about trying to heat up his water. I can just take the warm water directly from the thermos and pour it into a bottle. And then I use a formula dispenser already measured out to just pour it in there. And it makes making a bottle in the car so much faster. And if your baby is used to sleeping with the sound machine at night or taking naps with it then a portable sound machine is recommended i have a little owl sound machine that i have hooked to his car seat so that when we're out and if we're like at the doctor and he's trying to take a nap i'll just turn on his little sound machine and i close his car seat canopy car seat canopy is also a recommendation so people don't touch your newborn baby if you don't want them to and it also reduces light reduces sound so that your baby can sleep in the car seat while you're out the next thing that i can recommend is a bedside caddy so in my night stand beside my bed i have a little caddy that i purchased from target and it has extra bibs burp cloths pajamas diapers and wipes so that i can change his diaper or his clothes easily in the middle of the night or if he spits up then i have extra bibs and extra things i need right there beside me and i also make his bottles in my bathroom at night so that i don't have to go out into the kitchen so i do keep everything in my bathroom that i need to make bottles with overnight and i know a lot of people have said that this is not a necessity for them but i've always used one is a bottle warmer and 
and the reason I use the bottle warmer is because if I pump my breast milk and I know that he's going to eat it that day, I would go ahead and just put it in a bottle and put it in the fridge. So then all I had to do was just take it out and put it in the bottle warmer to heat it up for him when he was ready to eat it. And also if a family member was watching Jackson while I took like Arabelle to the dentist or something, then they don't have to worry about messing with my breast milk. They could just get it out of the refrigerator and put it in the bottle warmer and it just makes life so much easier and also if you are formula feeding and you have a family member watching your baby you can go ahead and make their bottles and put them in the fridge and just tell the, the family member that all they have to do is just fill the bottle warmer up with this much water and push start and it makes their life so much easier if all they have to do is grab the bottle out and heat it up and last but not least is the simshine baby pro baby monitor any kind of baby monitor is obviously a must for your baby but i absolutely love the simshine baby pro and i'm gonna have it linked down below in my description box as well as everything else that i'm able to link down below let me know some things that you absolutely love to use for your newborn and also one or two things that you regretted buying. Let me know down in the comments. I would love to know your opinion. So Jackson is three months old so I went ahead and got him a size up on the Love Every that he can grow into. This one is from months five to six and I'm really excited about this one. I love what this kit has to offer. So this one comes with a book called Parts of Me. It also comes with like a little weeble wobble ball. It has a weight in it. And y'all, these are so, so cute. You can go ahead and use these right now. They're little rattle ball socks. Jackson approves. These are absolutely darling. And then there's an organic cotton rainbow ball for him to play with. It's super soft. And then there's the spinning rainbow. So this can sit down in front of him. And then this one I was super excited about. It's called Magic Tissue. It's um, magnetic, so it'll snap on and off, and you can put all the tissues in there. See, this is so he can pull it and pull all the tissues out, and then you can keep on refilling it. So each box is designed by experts for your baby's developing brain. And I'm so excited to start playing with these toys with Jackson. I'm going to link Love Every down below in my description box in case you guys want to check out a box for your little one. Y'all, he loves to look at this sloth. He got it for Christmas, and I have it hung on his play gym, and he absolutely loves to look at it but it has like a little mirror on it and it's actually a car seat toy but I just have it hanging here for now you make me nervous I think I might be hooked on you I love the things you said you said to me to me it seems like So I'm going to be filming a takedown Valentine's video whenever I do my spring clean and decorate video. I'm going to be putting out my spring decor. So I'm just leaving my Valentine's stuff up until I'm ready to decorate for spring. So look out for my spring clean and decorate video coming very soon.
so today I feel like this day cannot come to an end sooner and that's okay sometimes we feel like that as moms some days I don't want the day to end because we're just having so much fun but today is one of those days where I'm just ready for this day to come to an end I'm ready to take a hot relaxing shower and just crawl in the bed and cuddle up and play on my phone until I get tired enough to fall asleep but I still have to go cook dinner give all the kids baths clean up the house and put the house to bed before I go to sleep so I still have a long ways to go but I'm not going to be sharing with y'all what I'm cooking for dinner because I'm actually sharing a what I eat in a week for dinner video so that's going to be coming very soon I'm going to be giving y'all some dinner ideas hopefully some new things that you can eat and they're also going to be things that you can do if you're a solo mama like me like Eric gets home really late he usually gets home after I've cooked dinner so I have all the kids plus I'm trying to cook dinner so this isn't going to be like something you stand in the kitchen for hours like Pinterest meals sometimes Pinterest y'all can just be too much let me know in the comments if you feel the same way if you just feel like pinterest is just too much sometimes like i've tried to get like meal ideas on pinterest before and i just i can't i'm like that's just too extra it looks good but that's too extra so i'm about to go out here and cook some dinner and give all the kids baths thank y'all so much for watching subscribe if you want to and i'll see y'all in my next one bye